Uh, hi everyone, uh, my name is Roshna Chaturvedi. I'm a PhD student at University of Illinois, Chicago, advised by Professor Barbara De Eugenio. Uh, I'll be presenting my work on temporal knowledge graph extraction and modeling across multiple documents for health risk prediction. Uh, over past 15 years, there has been a widespread adoption of electronic health records, uh, which has led to substantial repositories of data. Uh, this uh, has enabled uh, rapid deployment of machine learning systems for a range of predictive modeling tasks, such as future prescription or procedure recommendation, uh, hospital readmission or mortality prediction given a fixed time window, or diagnosis prediction, which can range from specific disease to general disease models. Uh, EHRs comp uh, comprise structured uh, attributes such as physiological time series or demographic data. Uh, as well as unstructured clinical notes. Uh, the structured data, however, persistently undercaptures the information uh, because of inconsistent assignment of codes, uh, which is often done during the time of billing, as well as a uh, lot of missing information. For example, uh, symptoms or uh, uh, social determinants of health are often not found in structured modality. Unstructured clinical notes alleviate these issues as they contain important information not found in structured EHR uh, and are the preferred information source of physicians also. Uh, an important part of information contained in uh, clinical notes is the precise order of uh, clinical events that occur on a patient's timeline. Uh, this may include uh, the time or date where a symptom started appearing or frequency or duration with which a particular medication was administered. Uh, manual review of notes is not scalable and places an excessive information overload on physicians, uh, usually leading to under-testing or over-testing errors. Uh, natural language inherently embeds temporal cues such as verb tenses or temporal prepositions, and NLP tools can help uh, extract temporal information and clinical events uh, to accurately represent a patient's timeline. The challenges uh, with leveraging these unstructured data and converting them into structured uh, uh, models for machine learning uh, systems is that uh, they are high dimensional and uh, contain sparse and irregularly distributed events. There is a frequency, uh, frequent use of synonyms uh, and also clinical abbreviations, such as POD3 means post-operative day three, BID means twice a day. Therefore, open domain NLP models are insufficient for modeling clinical text. Uh, they are also uh, usually long documents. This motivates our uh, research questions. First of all, can we improve on existing benchmarks in end-to-end -end clinical temporal uh, knowledge graph extraction? And secondly, can fine-grained modeling of patients' timelines improve uh, disease risk prediction? Uh, the first uh, question uh, uh, is, uh, given a clinical document, we want to extract a temporal knowledge graph where nodes are clinical events such as problem, treatment, test, etc., and time expressions such as date, time, duration, or frequency. And the edges represent temporal relations or T-links such as before, after, overlap. Now here's an example where we want to convert this unstructured snippet of clinical nodes into the structured temporal knowledge graph. Uh, here, uh, the uh, gait disorder, for example, is a problem, heparin is a treatment, uh, MRI is a test, admission or discharge are occurrences, and the edges uh, represent T-links or temporal links. Uh, so the directional edges represent before or after, and the bidirectional edges represent overlap relation. Now, we not only want our model to uh, extract explicit temporal relations, but also the implied ones through temporal transitivity or invertibility. For example, if an event A occurs before B and B occurs before C, then we should be able to infer that A also occurs before C. So here, for example, uh, uh, gait disorder appears before admission, and heparin and admission overlap. Heparin appears before MRI. This uh, should, uh, through this information, we should be able to infer that gait disorder also appears before MRI. Uh, so for training our model, we leverage I2B2 2012 clinical temporal relations corpus, comprising 310 discharge summaries, annotated with clinical events, time expressions, and temporal links. Uh, for evaluation, uh, the, uh, the challenge uh, evaluation script uh, 
due to low annotation density of temporal relations, because they can be quadratic in number of entities, uh, there is a post-processing applied where uh, the uh, where you compute uh, temporal closure over the obtained relation set, and then you compute precision recall and F1 in that using that closure. Uh, prior works have uh, utilized rule-based to traditional machine learning-based systems, as well as transformer-based BERT uh, bird-like encoders and uh, uh, also uh, lately generative uh, models uh, such as Rebel framework. Uh, however, uh, over time, the benchmarks have become increasingly fragmented with people mostly uh, performing only relation classification given the gold pairs uh, compared to end-to-end -end relation extraction. And also there has been a difference in reporting standards. Uh, macro F1 or versus the temp well uh, matrix from the challenge script. Uh, we propose a joint uh, span-based model for end-to-end -end relation extraction. Uh, this model is inspired by Eberts and co-authors. Uh, here, uh, we use a base encoder to obtain embeddings of, uh, uh, of, of the tokens. And then we enumerate all possible contiguous spans, which are then fed to a span classifier. All the spans that are not uh, classified as uh, not entity are then paired up, and we try to determine possible relation between them. So uh, we additionally uh, add uh, entity type, uh, context between uh, the en like context by uh, pooling all tokens between two entity pairs, uh, as well as uh, additional training data by flipping the order of uh, entity pairs. For example. Uh, we flip, uh, if, if training data has A after B, we also add B before A as a pro uh, as a uh, as additional training sample. Uh, and then we obtain a new state of the art on end-to-end -end relation extraction using this uh, model. Uh, this brings us to uh, the application of the extracted temporal knowledge graph uh, towards predicting future risk of type 2 diabetes. This is a highly prevalent chronic condition and affects 1 in 10 adults worldwide. Uh, about a quarter of these are undiagnosed. The, predi uh, the prescribed tests have a high negative prediction value, and uh, uh, this especially inhibits people with low socioeconomic status who do not uh, routinely visit hospitals but only during an emergency situation. Uh, and therefore, uh, we should be able to diagnose uh, whenever an opportunity of screening arises. So for example, if someone visits hospital for an unrelated reason. Early detection of diabetes can lead to lifestyle interventions, such as diet or uh, uh, exercise and medications, and can help manage complications and even treat the disease in some cases. Uh, we utilize longitudinal EHR data comprising 10 years of patient history from UI Health the hospital at University of Illinois, Chicago. Uh, our previous work uh, uses clinical concepts uh, from nodes, and we find that this improves prediction performance over structured, uh, uh, only using structured attributes. And also, modeling these concepts over multiple patient visits further improves uh, the prediction performance. So uh, in the next step, we also want to leverage the fine-grained temporal knowledge through uh, the temporal graphs that we extract. Uh, so the model trained on I2B2 corpus would be deployed on UI health data. And uh, we would then align the multi-document event temporal graphs using our framework for type 2 diabetes risk prediction. Uh, there are some challenges in this. Uh, first of all, uh, we expect a distribution uh, shift because the I2B2 data contains only discharge summaries, uh, where, uh, in a way, the entire summary of a patient's timeline is av uh, available in a single node. Whereas our data comprises a variety of nodes, such as uh, progress nodes or outpatient nodes. Uh, and also, uh, so, so uh, to quantify this distribution shift, we'll be testing model on a small annotated sample of UI health uh, data. Uh, this would be done with the help of uh, clinicians. Uh, we also propose to enrich the data by early or late fusion of the structured variables. Uh, then secondly, there is an alignment challenge from, uh, for, from multiple uh, temporal knowledge graphs extracted from each node. The, uh, these multiple documents can be written by different authors, and uh, which may have different writing styles. Uh, also, a patient state may change over time. 
सो सम सिम्टम्स में डिसअपियर और सम न्यू रिलेशन में बी फॉर्म डिपेंडिंग ऑन द डॉक्टर्स ओन विजडम सो द सोल्यूशन टू दिस इज डायनामिक ग्राफ न्यूरल नेटवर्क विच आर स्पेशली मॉडल फॉर दीज डायनामिकली चेंजिंग ग्राफ्स ऑल्सो टू अकाउंट फॉर चेंजिंग प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द एंटिटीज वी विल इनिशलाइज द नोट्स ऑफ आर ग्राफ यूजिंग कंटेक्चुअलाइज एम्बेडिंग्स फ्रॉम द सोर्स टेक्स सो हियर्स द पिक्टोरियल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ आर प्रपोज फ्रेमवर्क and in conclusion uh, we refocus uh, the attention on end to end clinical temporal relation extraction and obtain state of the art on end to end extraction and uh, recently also on time expression extraction uh, we uh, uh, we uh, hypothesize that uh, rich patient representations with fine grain temporal uh, information can help uh, predict future risk of type 2 diabetes uh and it also has broader applications for other diseases with long progression timelines uh, such as parkinsons or heart disease or coronary artery disease uh, uh there are uh, more broad applications beyond electronic health records uh to specifically to any domain where uh, uh, sparse heterogeneous or unstructured data uh, and irregular time series data may exist uh, such as uh, stock price prediction by combine, uh, combining ticker data with uh, temporal knowledge graph extracted from financial news or uh, uh, clinical uh, or, or in litigation timeline preparation from legal documents or conflict prediction from news articles uh and also uh, uh depression or societal ideation prediction using social media posts and uh, uh, uh social social media posts and uh, structured attributes such as likes um, and uh, retweets etc thank you